Welcome everybody to another episode of the Genesis Mindset. And I don't even think I need to really introduce what this episode is about. I think it's probably pretty self-explanatory that this is going to be a very, very good episode. So with that said, family, friends, Pulsicans, outsiders, tourists, let's go. Welcome to the Genesis Mindset. I welcome you to the Genesis Mindset. This is Mindset for Investing, Trading, and Life. This is my personal opinion only. This is not financial advice. I'm just a dude telling you about my things. I love Mindset. And I'm basically documenting my process to wealth. I want to show that process through this channel. So follow along. And if I succeed, well, let's succeed together. So today's episode is going to be about teddy bear, the little teddy bears. So can teddy bear become the premier meme coin? I'm not talking about the premier meme coin just on Pulse Chain. I think it is going to absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, be the premier meme coin on Pulse Chain. I'm talking about can it become the premier meme coin for this upcoming cryptocurrency bull market? Can it be the Shiba Inu? Can it be the Doge? Can it be the Pepe? We've seen what Bonk did. How, lo how long is Bonk going to last? We don't know. It's having a massive pullback right now. Doesn't mean it's necessarily the end. Everything has to have its pullback, but can Teddy Bear be the premier meme coin? So what I'm actually going to cover is the evidence that I showed in my previous video about the formula that I came up with, showing the value that's actually coming into the chain, going to show B Roots' clip, the Moon King, who actually spread it on Crypto Banter, evidence that it's actually growing with the buying and how to actually buy it. The most important thing is how to actually buy teddy bear on pulse chain i'm going to show you the various methods through that throughout towards the end of the video and if you want to just skip straight to that i do have i am going to keep the contents here so you can just skip straight to that so the meme coin formula so again in my old videos i'm going to link it up here if you do want to have a look at it so just to give you a look, just quick background so i'm an architect and i'm really interested in systems i'm not really a meme coin chaser i'm not really a meme coin guy but I'm really fascinated with Pulse Chain and I'm fascinated with this idea of how to actually grow and try to understand it. Because at the end of the day, for me, it's all about bringing value to Pulse Chain. That's what I love. And what's going to bring value to Pulse Chain is what you can extract from the chain. This is what it actually comes down to. So this is what I'm actually interested in. It's all about bringing value to the chain and what you can take out of it. So this is the formula that I've come up with as to why I think this is going to be the premier meme coin. So it's on a new layer one, which is Pulse Chain. So brand spanking new. We got Ethereum, for example, has so much competition with all the different memes. There's like hundreds, thousands being released all the time. Like there's so many, so there's so much competition. It is connected to the Atropa ecosystem, which is a, a mystery narrative that is connected with Pumpamentals. So the Atropa ecosystem is an ecosystem of tokens that have been specifically designed in a way and liquidity bonded in a way that is designed to pump up the entire Pulse Chain ecosystem and Atropa ecosystem. So as Pulse Chain goes up, the entire Atropa ecosystem goes up and they're all interconnected, that they're all pulling themselves up together and it's all working together. So it's creating this forever floor with the hope that eventually there's going to be a floor that is not going to sell below. So we can always keep a certain amount of value that's liquidity bonded locked away in liquidity pools that's going to buffet the system and create a forever floor. This is like the dream of any meme coin because meme coins, you see them go up and you see them just crash down. What we want to see is a forever floor. And we're seeing that with Teddy Bear. We're seeing that it didn't go all the way to zero. It actually survived and it's actually on its way back up again. So this is all thanks to Pulse Chain and the Atropa ecosystem that it's connected to. Now, what else? We also have the fact that it's a memorable meme coin so it's cute it's a cute meme coin so for example it needs to be it needs to be memorable and cute it needs to be something that i can connect with it needs to be something that i can resonate with and that i think other people can also resonate with because that's what memes are that's it's just all about the culture it's all about the connection it's a cycle one meme coin so unlike shiba inu dogecoin peppy they've all been through a cycle one this is a new cycle one coin we're in the tiktok generation we're chasing the newest thing all the time. Memes now, they won't last more than a few days. They go up, they go down, that's it, game over. We're in the TikTok generation. So we need something that's in a cycle one in order for it to have that opportunity to be the best performing asset of this particular cycle. We have big influences behind it, big influences shilling it. And today is evidence. So I, I'm, I mentioned this, today is evidence that this is actually happening, that the big influences shilling it is part of it. I mean, it's pretty obvious but you also need to see that evidence. When Moon King goes on, 
Ran Nunes crypto banter with a mil over a million subscribers, <laughs> it starts to go crazy, right? So this is what we actually need. It needs that as part of the formula. Otherwise, it's just a trash, a trash uh, meme coin that's going to die straight away. It needs something that's going to keep it going, and that's the shillers, that's the big influencers. And it also needs a strong community. And this, from what I've seen, has the strongest community out of all the memes on Pulse Chain. I mean, all the different telegrams, are, I'm just as a matter of observation. And in some cases, it has more than double the telegram users compared to other meme coins on Pulse Chain. So this allows me to have high conviction. I have extreme conviction that this is going to be the number one meme coin on Pulse Chain. That, for me, goes without a shadow of a doubt. Can never, ever predict the future. I, I have as high a probability belief and conviction in it that I possibly can. And I also believe that it is going to be the best meme coin in all of cryptocurrency this particular run because of the fact it's on Pulse Chain. And why is that? Because again, Pulse Chain is a new layer one. It's the new kid on the block. So out of all the layer ones, it has the highest potential to do the maximum Xs because of the fact that it's brand new. So it has the highest upside potential. So this makes it exciting. So because this is a new meme coin, cycle one on a new chain, cycle one, it has the highest upside potential. It goes without, it, it, it's just, it goes without shadow of a doubt, in my opinion. So it has so many opportunities here because it's a cycle one. It has a thriving and growing ecosystem. The community for Pulse Chain Hex, Richard Hart is phenomenal. It's growing all the time. There is a problem and then instantaneously there's a solution. There's no foundation that we rely on. We don't have to wait for some centralized authority to say, hey, do this and do that. There's a problem. It gets expressed into the world and then the world responds to that problem and creates a solution. And the feedback loop is like almost instantaneous, almost it's within days. It is it's phenomenal. I haven't seen anything like it in cryptocurrency. So I absolutely love this truly decentralized ecosystem that is Pulse Chain. And it's just growing and growing. And they're so passionate. They're so loud. It's phenomenal. All other layer ones have moved, but Pulse Chain hasn't yet. So this means opportunity. So if you can get into a meme coin like Teddy Bear, because it's liquidity bonded into Pulse Chain, when Pulse Chain starts to run as well, that's opportunity. And we're actually entering phase two of the pump. So what does that actually mean? So again, as I mentioned before, a lot of meme coins go up, go down, dead. What you actually want to see is for them to enter into a phase two. When they enter into a phase two, so when you look at something like Shiba Inu, it went up and then it, it went sideways for so long. And then all of a sudden it went, it went sideways for like six months, then boom, it went up again. So that's exactly what we want. We want something that's going to have a second phase. So look, look at this, look, 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 look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm going to show you this. All right, so this is something I've been covering on my Twitter. Because I'm interested in this. I'm interested in systems. I'm interested in flows. So a Tropa ecosystem, everything that was in there, Teddy Bear is part of the Tropa ecosystem. First meme coin, series of meme coins on Pulse Chain, the first Pulse Chain only meme coins. Then we had Pulse Reflections. So, okay, the Tropa ecosystem topped out towards the end of September. So then that liquidity is flowing into the next thing. So again, TikTok generation, where's the attention going? So the whales go here, extract value out of it, go into the next thing, extract value out of it, go into the next thing, extract value out of it, go into the next thing. That's what I'm seeing here. So it goes into pulse reflections, extract value out of it, goes into mega, extract value out of it, goes into PTGC, extract value out of it, goes into HSA, extract value out of it. Now, what I was saying on that Twitter was, is they're going to be enough is are we actually going to see it come back into the start which is the atropa ecosystem or are we actually going to have to wait for more value to come onto the chain first what i see what the evidence is suggesting now is we're actually moving back there there is no other new meme coin there is no shiny new object so it's going it's cycling back into the originals and then moon king goes on to ran Nunes and it started pumping. So I think now this is it. All that money is going to start flowing into there and it has all the other ingredients to make it go. So let's actually have a look at what, I mean, the Moon King, B Roots. <laughs> I love him. I love him. It, like for me, it's the same as Richard Hart. Richard Hart, like he's just such a sweet guy. Like for me, he's like, it's just an act like Richard Hart as well. It's all about the marketing. But if you really listen to them from your heart, it's like these guys are just sweet. They're trying to help. They're trying to give alpha. He's, he had this law of meme coins video where he just like, he gave you all this value for, for free. This is thing. This is the kind of stuff people would pay. 
like charge you thousands for for their course learn this alpha he's just given it to you for free and he's taken it off his youtube now it was there he kept shilling it all the time and he was telling you he's going to take it off your boy here took some notes so don't worry about that and there's always debates who's better for the community it doesn't really matter we're all in this together that's the main thing so i love moon king shout out to moon king let's hear what he had to say he represented the community very well today let's see what he had to say on crypto banter it's crazy life-changing game so when I just spoke about a layer one pulse chain that nobody's talking about, that is kind of swept under the rug, even though a billion plus was sacrificed for it, people will start talking about it. They will roll out of Solana, they will roll out of Ethereum, they will roll out of AVAX and all these other coins that people are talking about, Injective, Internet Computer, and that money will flow into pulse chain because that's what people do. They chase green candles. And when that happens, Teddy Bear on Pulse Chain, <laughs> you'll see me on stream with my massive, large Teddy Bear. Are you watching Teddy me? Bear. <laughs> teddy <laughs> Bear, guys. Well, I'm calling you. Well, when you decide to ape over the Pulse Chain, Teddy Bear right now is sitting at a $4 million market cap. I call okay. it at a 40000 market cap. All right, so and let's go. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so, so just to give you a bit of background on the Moon King, Moon King got in on day two of Shiba Inu and he held it for the million percent. He held it for the million X. He got in on day two. Yes, he took profits on the way, but he extracted millions of dollars out of it and he's continued to extract millions of dollars out of the meme coin scene. Who's the kind of guy that you want to follow? You want to follow the experts. You want to follow the guys who know what they're talking about. If I want results, I want to go to the person who has the results. I'm not just going to listen to some oh, someone like me. I'm just going to listen to a random guy. I'm trying to follow who the experts are. And the Moon King, he is the bloody altcoin champion of the world. He is the meme coin champion of the world. So he's the guy that I want to follow. He's bringing his teddy bear out on a guy whose channel has millions of viewers and the inflows are coming. So thank you, Moon King. Thank you. And Teddy Bear was his number one choice. He mentioned Teddy Bear first. He mentioned Pulse Chain first. So what does this mean? He's also talking about money flows. He knows how this works. He knows people chase the colors. He knows people chase the green candles. And so what are we seeing now? That money is flowing back into Teddy Bear, back into the Atropa ecosystem. And then what's going to happen there? I'll let you decide. So the buyers are incoming. So this is I mean, the, the, the Telegram metrics, I've been observing them for months since I got into it, and it spiked today. Ever since this, people have come in there. How do I buy? They're trying to figure out how to buy it. They would have heard about it on Ran Nunes' show. And now that that has like over 30,000 views and possibly even up to 40,000 views at the minute. Like it's just got tons of viewers. The buyer metrics are up. So I'm going to show that in just a moment, like the amount of buyers that are actually coming through. And the crypto Twitter metrics are up. So crypto Twitter, the teddy bear Twitter uh, is up like plus 400%. And, I mean, it's going, it's going bonkers. Look at this. So this is just some of the buyers that are happening within that are being shown on the Telegram. So on the Telegram, 6, 613, 615, 616, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 20, 22, 23, these aren't just small buyers. So the more little teddy bears, the more little cute teddy bears that are there, the, the, the bigger the buyers. So this is like a huge influx of buyers. We got five, five and a half thousand, 2.8 thousand, 2.8 thousand, another 2.8 thousand, 2,000, two, another 2.8 thousand. So somebody who was putting in $50 million at a time, uh, 50 million pulse at a time, 2.3 thousand, 4.1 thousand. And look at this. This is the biggest one that I found, 7.7 thousand. .7, and <laughs> look at our boy, Dickie Hart. He's so cute with his little Louis V teddy bear. Oh, I love, I love him. I mean, he rubs, I don't care if he rubs, I mean, well, I do care that he rubs people the wrong way. I wish he didn't, but deep down, He's just a guy who wants love, like all of us. And I love him. I love you, Richard. I love you, Dickie. You're our boy. And when he comes, when he comes back, and he will come back, he will come back, when he comes back and starts streaming, and he's got his teddy bear sitting there, <laughs> shit. This is all it's going to take. This is all it's going to take. The degeneracy that happens in the meme coin world, it's just little things like this. It's all it's going to take for price spikes. Like, honestly. All right. So now let's actually go into the buying. So I'm going to, oopsies. Okay, here. So now the actual how to buy. 
So this is the way that I like to buy. So I'm just going to show you my process and I'm going to show you other options. So bridge.pulsechain.com and then you can go to the IPFS. So this is, Pulse Chain is the most truly decentralized blockchain on the planet. Ivan on Texas, this is the future of decentralized finance. And what I'm trying to do is follow the future of decentralized finance. So I run this on my desktop. So I downloaded the Windows application and you open the Windows application and because I've got to change some settings on my computer, but basically each time it prompts me like, do you really want to do this? This looks like a scam. And it's like, yes, I do want to do it. It's fine. So then it will open up the Pulse Chain Bridge. So what I do is I, I go to a centralized exchange, I buy a stable coin, and then I bridge, I send the stable coin to my MetaMask wallet. And from MetaMask, I then bridge from Meta, from my Ethereum onto Pulse Chain. So basically from Ethereum, I'll bridge whatever the asset is. Um, here we go. So let's just, so for example, I might be bridging across US, excuse me, USDC. And you just press max. So at the moment, there's nothing there. Switch network. Oh, you've got it will it will prompt you to be on the right kind of network. So at the moment, I think my network is on Pulse Chain. I don't want to actually dox my wallets here, but I think it's on Pulse Chain. So make sure you've got it set to Ethereum, and then you can switch it over to Pulse Chain. So I'm also going to leave the details for the Pulse Chain network. So I'm gonna well, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave uh, somebody's Twitter who I actually saw. Ah, I really wish, I think it was Crypto Mando. So I'm going to leave a link to Crypto Mando's uh, tweet in my description. So go there and actually have a look at the details for the Pulse Chain. And also for safety, you should verify it in multiple locations. So then you can bridge it across there. Then once it's bridged across, then you would switch to the Pulse. Then you switch to the Pulse Chain and it's there. It's all there. You don't need to do anything else. It'll just appear here. So you're going to have to then add it to your MetaMask. And the beauty is now Pulse Chain Bridge is free. So it used to be a fee, but now it's free. So of course, you're going to have to pay the gas for the Ethereum side. But once it's on the Pulse Chain side, it's free. So the big dog, Richard Hart, it's all free now. So the other ways you can bridge it across or other ways that you can send money across or buy money is buy pls.online. So I'll leave all these links in the description. So if you have uh, less than, if you're kind of looking to buy like less than 0.3 Ethereum, this is probably the best way to do it. You've also got blockblend.io. So you, I've never used these. This is just something that I've asked the community and they've given these kinds of suggestions. So they are verified. They are, I've never used them. So I'm not going to show you how to use them. And then token tokensexpress.link. So tokensx.link. And then this will help you bridge Binance, Ethereum and Pulse Chain. So there are these kinds of methods where basically people are, I think one of the best ways to do it in actuality, I like to just go with what I know and I just stick with that. So Basically, probably the one of the optimum ways to do it is when you buy it on a centralized exchange, buy it on like a, a Matic network or something like that. So then the gas fees are very small. So on Ethereum, it stinks to bridge it across. It'll be like 30 US dollars or something like this. Depends what time of day it is. But when it's Matic, it's going to be like, you know, what, a few cents. So that's probably the cheapest and best way to do it. Then once you're actually on, once you've got it all on Pulse Chain, then again, same app.pulsex.com. And again, you can just go to the website link, but I like to download the desktop. So then I've got the desktop. I'm going to have to close this so I can actually get that link here. And then again, it will prompt you and it will open up the little desktop application here. Then I'm going to have to close this one as well, just a couple here so I can click here. So then you want to add the contract on Pulsex. And Pulsex is such a beautiful simple front end. So I'm going to go to Pulsex. So here's Teddy Bear at the moment. Teddy Bear to USD. And then we've got Teddy Bear to PLS. Look at that cute little Teddy Bear over here. So at the moment, the big dog, your boy, your boy bought it here and I'm up 216%. So I was buying it all the way down. So I've been covering this. Well, since my boy, Utini. So I'm going to leave his link in the description as well. Utini was the one who actually suggested me uh, suggested Moon King to me and told me all about Teddy Bear. And I didn't listen. I didn't listen because that's my nature. And I finally listened and it's like, okay, well, all right, now I'm, now I'm going to actually take an interest in this. And I started buying it on all these dips. So I think I entered here, uh, entered here, and then also here. And then I think I might've bought a little bit more here and then a little bit. And I'm basically like right at the bottom of this candle wick here. I got the next one. So that's just how I like to do my buying while it's going down. That's just me. If I have conviction in it, that is. And now, so what you want to do is you want to actually find this contract address. So the teddy bear that ends in 8F6D, this is what you want. 
And then once you go to Pulsex, so I've already got it added here. So I, when I would go down here, the thing that I want to buy, I can just copy and paste. Oops, I can, here we go. I'm going to copy that from Deck Screener. So you just need to click it and it will automatically copy it, paste it into here. And then it will ask me, because I've already got it here, there's no need for me to actually add it, but it will prompt you, do you want to add it? I think also if you go to manage tokens, you press tokens, you type it in here and it will ask you if you want to add it. So I've already got it active, so there's no need to actually add it. So, well, in actuality, it's going to be the other way around. So then with my pulse chain, then I'm going to buy the Teddy. I'm not actually going to do it in this particular instance. My God, that's such good, that's such good value. So I can I can then use the pulse chain to buy the teddy bear. And that's it. So you swap, you do all the confirmations, all of that, and then you've got the teddy bear. So then you want to add it again into your MetaMask. So same thing, you would just copy and paste this address and add it to your MetaMask. And so what I have actually done in the past, I've compared this to Shiba Inu. So what I was saying with Shiba Inu is Shiba Inu went through these phases and then Shiba Inu, I was speculating that we were here in the cycle of Shiba Inu prior, but it, was, it showed that we weren't. We were, When Shiba Inu, I think Shiba Inu basically did like a sideways for about six months and then it went boom. And then again, something along those lines. Oops. So Shiba Inu did something like this, right? And then possibly one more little, one more little upward jizz, little, little blow off top here or some, something along these lines, right? So Shiba Inu did this. It just went sideways. And I was thinking, well, I was speculating, right? Since my original, whoops, since my original thesis of it, being here in the cycle of Shiba Inu was incorrect. Okay, I had to pivot. All right, so it looks like we're in that sideways stage. And what's actually going to make it go up again is the peak of the bull run or some kind of catalyst. And it looks very much like we've had the catalyst. So a few weeks ago, we did actually have a big, we had, I mean, once you saw these candles here, there was a big boom here. Uh, actually, Teddy was the first one, I think, and then it was a tropa because they're all interconnected. Then a tropa was shown. A tropa showed a big boom here, and we thought, "All right, is this is this the is this the the next phase of the up cycle in these meme coins?" It turned out that it wasn't because it couldn't break these levels. So we thought, "Okay, these are our levels that we actually need to break out of." And today we've smashed those levels. So we smashed those levels. So much liquidity has come into the chain. So much buying has happened, like the telegram has gone absolutely insane. The euphoria is real. People are really feeling it. So it's all happening. And again, now, okay, forget about this. Where where can we actually go? What what are our potentials? So I think I think basically uh I think we had like a 300x. Um maybe that was a bit too bit too crazy. I'm not the type of guy to be doing these kinds of um is that here we go uh, how do you actually do this i think you go from the bottom to the or the top to the bottom to actually is this price predictions yeah i'm not a i'm not a price prediction guy 30x okay all right i think this these are kind of some reasonable targets from the bottom 30x this is this is like conservative targets around these prices so a 30x to these levels which ends up being from here you've got around about 10x. But it really depends on how much liquidity is coming in. So what's the market cap at the moment? The market cap is 8.6 million. And so meme coins, they can have market caps in the billions. And we've only just started. So once Pulse Chain starts taking off, once Pulse Chain starts to get millions and billions into the chain, once the bull market is really in full swing, at the moment, I think we saw Bonk had a big pullback at 30 million. So once once this sort of thing starts to happen and we start to get into the second phases of the meme coins, then shit starts getting real. So, all right. Oh, gosh, so ridiculous. Okay, so the other thing that you can do with uh, Teddy Bear, and again, this is all about the Atropa ecosystem, is liquidity pairing. So if you want to be a civilized degenerate like myself, then you can actually support the ecosystem and support the community. This is something that I'm a big advocate on. So I have bought some of these tokens with the intention of just holding them pretty much forever and for either, for the most part, forever. I'm going to read read the situation as it goes, but locking it up in liquidity and just leaving it there. So one third of the things that I bought, I'm just leaving it in liquidity. Of course, I want to take profits, but with that liquidity, I'm just going to support it and create a, a forever floor with the intention that this forever floor makes it more and more attractive to buy. 
Having said that, there is going to be a point with certain meme coins, which this could end up being one of them, where you're going to have to assess the situation and go, all right, a meme coin is a meme coin. We're in the TikTok generation. Is it ever going to have a second round of legs? Are we ever really going to go through another cycle after this particular bull cycle? Are we going to do that? And I'll assess that situation after this. If I see Pepe, Doge, Shiba Inu having a big run where they're breaking their all-time highs, then I will go, all right, I'm going to support the ecosystem. I'm going to leave some locked up in liquidity and I'm just going to wait and I'm just going to generate those fees. And those fees will be accumulating for years and years and years until that next bull market and away we go. So that's what a civilized degenerate does. I try to be a civilized degenerate, but that's just me. So thank you very much, everybody. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week and get into that bear. Take care.